Okay, all right, all right, hold up. Okay, all right, all right. Y'all see that time right now? Y'all see that time? What time does that say? Y'all see it, right? Okay, y'all see that time, right? So I have about, carry to two. I have less than an hour to be home due to the new curfew uh, due to uh, COVID-19, okay? And everybody else is gone. My, my ass is the only one left here because I chose to do a little bit of editing and, um, I do not want to leave a lot of stuff in the barbershop while I'm gone. Not saying I don't trust people. I trust the barbers here. I just don't know how long we're gonna be gone. I might need the tools, who knows? I'm not gonna be doing house calls though, for sure. I mean, I- But I tell you, this is a weird, weird time. This is a weird, weird time. To really say that we are out of work, most people say two weeks, but I've yet to hear of a place that's done after two weeks. So it might be longer than two weeks. So Hillsborough County, the county that this shop is in, is shutting down. Not all the counties in Florida. They're going in, in, in little sections right now, right? And yeah, this shop is going down. This shop is gonna be closed, but not all the headlines barbershops are gonna be closed. If it ends up uh, being like this for a while, player, I might have to go to one of the other headlines. We gonna find out, we gonna see, cause your boy got a family to feed. This is very interesting. Oh, hold up, hold up. Told y'all I had the blade. We'll definitely show y'all how to set it. What else do I need? What else do I need? Take two next strips. A book, What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. It's a good book, and I'm gonna be talking to myself a lot on this break. Need some hairspray, because I will be working on my mannequin. Need that, need that. Take this, take that. Oh, hell no, we can't leave this here. Uh, hell no, nah. hell to the no, nah. got me messed up. I'm just saying, I don't know if this is gonna turn to the purge. Y'all ain't taking my lights. Okay, okay, we ready, we ready. <sighs> All right y'all, it's 940, I got 20 minutes to get home, COVID-19. You bastard, you have changed everything. I don't know when I'll be back up in here. It's gonna be a challenging time. They say two weeks, I don't know. Bruh, like I mean, look at how empty the parking lot is. It's never this empty at this time. It's Friday. Y'all hear me? It's Friday. Gotta go home, got a curfew now. Curfew? I don't remember the last time I had a curfew. So this is Ed. Today is about good old Ed. And Ed, I've been cutting for about two years, I would say. Ed, for the most part, gets a short haircut. And in the last recent months, he chose to start growing the top. But Ed doesn't really do too much to it, let's just say. So because of that, I normally don't style his hair. And on this day, for some weird reason, I chose to style his hair. Let's just say it got very interesting. But that's what we're here for, to share these experiences no matter how they turn out. So let's talk products real quick. Normally when it comes to curly hair, I can speak for myself on this one. I use gel at times. I don't really go for a gel that has holes, like a, ex a very aggressive hold, because to me that just means my hair's gonna flake up. And then I don't really like the, the droopy look. But again, this is not about me. Let's not forget about Ed, good old Ed. I didn't want to do that to Ed. I didn't want to give him a head full of gel. I wanted to give him something different. So I, I still wet his hair as if I was gonna gel it up, but then I added clay. That's what this is, clay. Do I normally use clay on curly hair? No, I just chose to get risky on this one, I guess.
Okay, so before I even get started with this fade situation, I wanna go ahead and dry a little bit of the hair off. But right here, we're using a diffuser on this blow dryer, okay? And then what that's supposed to do is maintain that natural curl. Okay guys, so on my second to last video, when I was cutting my boy Ant, there was a, a part of the video where I mentioned stamping. And with that, I want to find a better method of balding out the client and not creating a harsh line that takes forever to erase. Okay, so right here, what I chose to do is grab my magic clips with the Babyliss taper blade and I just went ahead and stamped, but because it's not a trimmer, it doesn't create a harsh line like one. I have my clipper all the way closed, I'm stamping away. Although I do like this method in the sense that it doesn't create this harsh line, it's still extra steps. So I'm still searching away for the best method, guys. But we're doing this together. We're going through this together. And, and that's what this channel is about. Just sharing these experiences. You guys share yours with me. I see it on the comments section. We, we, we there. A lot of us, we're there, okay? I feel you, y'all feel me. We're doing this. Okay, Ed, I know you, you want curls. But even though you want curls, Ed, I gotta pick out the ridge. Why do I have to pick out the ridge, you ask? I have to pick out the ridge because it's a little bit difficult for me to have a fluid blend if I'm cutting an actual coiled up curl. And Ed, I hope you understand that I have to use this number three guard all the way open. I'm rolling the number three guard off the ridge. Now going inward, Ed, so don't worry about your curls. I got you. Number three, off the ridge, Rakata. Okay, and look, I have to come back. I'm gonna open that lever up, but Ed, I'm not using a guard on you right now. I'm just using that blade. Open, creating a section. Oh, and Ed, stay still, all right? Jay hits, finna drop the f base. Ed, we're getting risky. Number one and a half guard, the Babyliss Red. Number one and a half guard, that is. Ed, we doing great, bud. Stay in there. Now, Ed, check this out, Ed. I got a confession to make. I, I got a few. This one, though, is, I did it a little backwards, Ed. I did the one and a half before using the two. It should have been the two and then the one and a half, Ed, because I wanted to kind of fade down. Not entirely, but like halfway, and then meet the bottom with the, with the middle, and then, but Ed, look, relax. I got you, I got you.
we're doing good. We're looking good. But you still got a line, Ed. I got to use the trimmers. We got to come back with the trimmers, Ed. I try to get the line out with the with, with the clippers all the way close, Ed. But look, I got you. All right. So stay still, though. I, I have to use the trimmers. You have to flip them around and, and kind of just like use the corners, Ed. You feel me? But it's going to take the line out. It's going to soften this fade out. And we're going to move on from this, Ed. We're going to get through this. Okay? What was that, Ed? You, you, you was asking how it's looking back then? Bro, it's it's coming along. <laughs> it's coming along. But look, we, we looking good though. We looking good. Just, hey, um, I, I just gotta, gotta use a few more guards. Don't worry about it though, Ed, I got you. Look, what, what guard am I using? I'm using the one and a half guard. Yeah, I used it before. I already used it a few times, but sometimes you gotta come back and use it to be safe, right? Right? Yeah, you could use the same guard more than once or twice or maybe five times, but as long as it gets the job done, Ed. Let's work on making this beer pop. Right now, what did I do? I set that first foundational line. It's curved. I think I covered it on my last video, Ed. If you didn't watch it, make sure you watch it, Ed. Um, and we're gonna start this fade out with the number one guard. And from there, we're gonna go to the no guard all the way open. Well, actually, no guard all the way closed, and then we go from there to halfway and then open. Sometimes you gotta play with it with the with the sections in between those three levers, those three micro measurements. Sometimes you gotta play with that lever a little bit. You gotta go in between, in between. I hope that makes sense. If it didn't, micro measurements. What can I say? They're funny like that. What are you thinking of doing with your mustache, Ed? Oh, you want to keep it as, as wide as possible? So what are we doing? Like, are we just like cleaning around the lip? That's what you want? You don't want to bring it down. So you don't want to bring it down like me. Like, you don't want the thinny mini? Oh, so as na natural as possible. Not too much work on top? I got you.
Okay, enough crazy talk, guys. Look, this is for real, though. This is for real. Right here, I actually learned this recently. I remember seeing Basio do it with a piece of paper, and then I looked across from me, and you guys know Sai, right? He's right across from me, barber with long hair. Great guy. Shout out to Sai. Sai, if you're watching this, miss you, bro. Miss everybody in the shop. But look, I watched Sai do this with a client. He picked up one of his combs, it was a white comb, and he used it as a tool to see the contrast and be able to shape up a beard. I thought it was genius. I was like, wow, barber school, what happened? Y'all missed out on this one. This is a great thing to know. So anyways, I started using it. It works, I love it. Sai, I appreciate you, bro, for doing this without even really mean to show me. I just watched you. Should have been watching my client, but I watched you while watching my client. And my eyes went like this. want to remind everybody watching this video this is an old video it was at least before corona was the thing the headlines for me i'm just letting you I, this is just to let all of y'all know by the time coronavirus was on mainstream i started wearing gloves so this is before that i wasn't wearing my gloves here because everything was good now i'm wearing gloves all day baby no glove no service My guy, we're almost there, okay? Um, this is a bit of a scary area for me. I ain't gonna lie, Ed, but hey, don't freak out, bro. We're almost done. Ed, your edge line is interesting, let's just say, Ed. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna brush, I'm just gonna comb this down for you a little bit, and we're gonna create a line that is not really a natural line, Ed, because none of these edges are natural. We're just creating a line to frame the haircut, the person's face. This is not a, a natural edge, Ed. A natural edge is an edge that you just leave the hell alone. But we don't do that, Ed. We don't do that here. So, Ed, I need to frame up your face with this edge, and we're gonna brush or comb uh, this hair down, all right, Ed? Stay still, though. Now, Ed, I, I just wanna let you know, I, I, I really have to, like, step back a few times to make sure I don't mess you up, okay, Ed? But we good, though, because he, these are the things that barbers don't want to always admit. Whenever things get tight, we internalize it. We're not going to voice it. What, what barber is going to say I was nervous? That doesn't even make sense, Ed. But there's so many, so many mentioning. It's all about confidence. Okay. So you just, you just picked up the, the clippers and you had confidence off the rip? You just never doubt it. Anything. You're perfect, right, Ed? I'm talking to the, the watchers at this point. This is subliminal. There's times you don't feel confident. To many people, they're going to say, that's incredible work. What are you talking about? Why aren't you confident? Ed, look, this is a process. It's the fact that I'm pushing through it, regardless of how I feel, that will get me closer to some, some better level of self-confidence. Ed. J hits finna drop the f bass.
So this right here is a must. There's gonna be times that you're gonna be closer to being done, but then when it comes to cutting hair, whether it be curly or like Asian hair with, you know, that pokes out, you can shape up with the trimmers, guys. Don't forget that. You can use the tool that you use to edge up your client to just define a shape. Don't forget that. Super necessary, super useful, works for me. What do you think, guys? I mean, come on. I mean, I wouldn't try to shape up a whole afro or something like that. This is just for like detail work though. All right, why I'm not saying shape a whole afro. Ed. Ed, boy, you looking good, Ed. Hey, see, it took a minute. There's a lot of extra steps, Ed, but look at you, dog. Dog, you look good. Look at you, bro. You might not show it, but you feeling yourself. Look at that face. Look at you, bro. You ready for the world. You ready for this lockdown. This cut was fire. This cut is fire. I love it. The beard is strong. The beard is it's strong. It's not strong. It's strong. Beard game is strong with Ed, all right? I have to say, though, for that second image, I did not use the GoPro. I used my camera. That's why the lighting was a little bit different. You got to find a yes. Shout out to my boy Danny. Always find a yes. Guys, everybody out there, all to all my barbers that are not working right now, stay strong. Look, these are challenging times. Find your peace, find your inner peace. Keep calm, stay strong, stay positive. You got nothing but time in your hands. Use it wisely. Let's grow from all this and come out on this other end, much better people, stronger, wiser. All right, love you guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.